Hey guys, Mike Brandon, it's time with another bass tutorial for Jelly Note. Today we are looking at the Blues Brothers version of Sweet Home Chicago. Great tune, classic tune. I always say that, but a great tune. It's a shuffle, so we're going to look at the shuffle feel and then we're going to look at the basic pattern of this tune. So go on, get your bass, and I think we'll be done in about five, six minutes here, man. So go get your bass, come on back, let's get to work. Okay, so before we talk about the notes of this song, I want to talk about the feel. So the feel, this is a shuffle feel. And if you notice on the tabs, you got, well, I'll, I'll just put it up. You have this little, this little key in the top there. It says two quarter or two eighth notes equals this quarter note and eighth note. That's just simply defining the feel of the song. And it's really important when you're doing a feel like this, when you're doing a blues shuffle, that you're playing it the way it is the way it wants you to play it. So, in other words, you have a four count. You're going to count these tabs with, with four counts. One, two, three, four. You're going to use four quarter notes. But the difference is the way those quarter notes are felt or the way those notes are felt. It's like having a triplet feel, okay? A triplet feel would be three triplets per quarter note, okay? Or a triplet per quarter note. In other words, it would sound like this. Bump, bump, bump. Okay, so now what the triplet or what the shuffle field does, it uses that triplet, but it takes out the p. All right, so tr, and it, and the p is silent. I hope this makes sense to you, but just roll with me here. All right, so it takes the middle part of that triplet, the middle note of the triplet out, and it just uses the first and the last. So what you end up with is trip or triplet, tri So it'll sound like this when you put them together. Bum, bum, bum. I'm just silencing the p, just silencing that center triplet part. The way they have it in the tab is a quarter note with an eighth note, but you notice that little bracket up top that has the three. That's a triplet symbol, and that just dictates to you, to, to the musician, that this is a triplet feel. But when you have that quarter note, eighth note, it's a shuffle, okay? And a shuffle is just the first and the last note of the triplet. It takes out the middle, all right? And it sounds like this. All that to probably sound very familiar, and you're probably like, why didn't you just say that in the first place? Well, it's just defining. Some of us uh, do better just kind of understanding how that triplet is formed or how that shuffle feel is formed. But for me, a lot of times, I want to just know how does it sound in the end, and this is it. So when you're working through this song and you're playing these notes, you're working like this. So, now let's talk about the notes, okay? The first note we're dealing with is an open E, which is your fourth string. All right? And the way we're... Uh, well, let's start off with the intro. The intro is just a very simple... We're using the open A note, which is your third string, and we're going on the first fret to the second fret. So, it'll sound like this. Okay. One, two, three, four, one... Okay, so that's how the intro is, and then we start off with the, all right, and that is an open E or an open fourth string, fourth fret on the third string, second fret on the, on the third string, and then the fourth fret of the fourth string, so it'll be, once again. And then we repeat that pattern with the open A string now, which is the third string. Okay. Once again, you want that shuffle feel. That's going to be the most important thing. <clears throat> sorry. That's going to be the most important thing as you play through this blues feel, this shuffle feel. Okay. So you want to make sure. Now, this is a very long song. It's about seven, almost eight minutes. So there's a lot of just freedom as you play through this song, and as you and you know, it would take us a long time to go through the entire tab. But I want you to kind of get this first part, which is the shuffle feel. Once you get that, you can almost play the same pattern. If you're a beginner, and I know a lot of my students are beginners here, so 
if you're a beginner, just play this pattern through this whole song until you get the feel for that. And then you could start expanding into the tabs and start playing a little, you know, some of the different patterns you see here. So for right now, we're going to work with this pattern here, which is... So we're going to work on that and then we'll move on to a couple other patterns here. Okay, now we're going to go on measure 28 here and we're going to hit this little intro into the break. Now the intro into the break is the same little lick that we do at the intro of the song. Which is the third string, A string, open, first fret, second fret. Now we hit these breaks. We're going to hit the breaks on the E string, which is the fourth string. And we're hitting them on the on the downbeat of each measure. So uh, on downbeat of each measure, measure, okay. And we're gonna hit those on the one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then coming into it, we're hitting open, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and then. Okay, so let's do that real quickly. From measure 28, one, two, three, four, one. Then we go. Okay, then we hit this fifth fret of the D string or the second string. So we're playing the same pattern, but then we do, we kind of, the bass line follows the melody line of the song. So. Whatever the words are. Okay, so. All right, so that's how we're doing that. Alright, then we go to the second fret now of the A string. Alright, we go second fret of the A string up to the sixth fret of the second string to the fourth fret. Okay, and then we go. Then we go to the sixth fret and fifth fret of the fourth string. Okay, and what happens there is you're going sixth fret, then we go up to the nine. Now we're into uncharted waters for some of you. Some of you, um, it's you know you don't spend a lot of time up on this part of the neck. A lot of us don't. So it's uh, it's a good time to really kind of get to know the neck. So and if you notice, you have this note. You have your fifth fret of your of your E string, and you're going up to the ninth fret, seventh fret, and then the ninth fret of the of the E string and notice something here. Now listen to this with the open A string. So it's the same pattern, it's the same notes, it's just in a different place on your neck. So you'll see how these patterns re repeat themselves as you work around your neck. So this is a good song for that. All right, and then we go to the seventh fret of the A string. doing there is seventh fret 11th fret of the a string or third string so seventh fret third string 11th fret third string ninth fret second string okay and then it does a little walk down just a, a little 11 10 9 7 and then we get into a little more there so that'll hopefully get you started but for this point this is a good song to get to know these patterns to get to know the blues feel, the shuffle feel, this is very important. And as long as you have these patterns down, you're working on these patterns, work on the basic part first, and then move on to the more difficult stuff later. But just take your time and work on getting that feel. The key to playing a good blues feel is really having a good grip on the feel. So if you're playing a basic pattern, but you have the feel, then you are gonna just create what the band needs for the song, okay? So as you advance in your playing, you can get into the more advanced patterns that you're gonna be playing with this song. But for right now, get the feel down, get the basic pattern, get comfortable with it, and then move on from there. Take off, you'll do great. All right, until next time, this is Mike Brandenstein for Jelly Note. Make sure you download the Jelly Note app, 
download the tabs. You can just click on the link wherever it is below here. Download the tabs. You'll be on your way. So until next time, this is Mike Brandenstein for Jelly Note. Thanks for watching.